Welcome back to Chris TV Triple Zero, and I got a crazy video I'm gonna show you guys today. Now, this police brutality that's been going on in America is some shit that's just starting to become, I guess, normal, but it's not normal. Violence is never normal. But this clip I'm about to show you guys that I got from the news reports, it's pretty sad to see that police officer used the force that he did against this uh, young person. And it's real sad and disturbing to watch when I watch these videos. Now, sometimes I don't show all the stuff that I watch because I'm like, yo, this is brutal. I can't post, post this. But I'm going to go into the news report um, that I got this information from. Video out there showing a Georgia state trooper kicking a man multiple times on the ground in Atlanta. And it asked some folks asking if the use of force was actually necessary. The video starts right after Georgia State Patrol trying to pull the man over for not wearing a seatbelt. Where GSP says the man drove off and got out of the car and took off running. And that's where the video picks up. A former law enforcement officer tells our um, Hope 4 the video was really concerning until the rest of the facts came to light. Let's look at this video from Edgewood Avenue. Right there, you see a Georgia State trooper chasing a man. Those two pops, the trooper's taser. And when the man falls, you see those two kicks. Let's look at it from another angle. Right there, two kicks before the officer pulls the man from under the car. At first, it concerned me. This is Charles Rambo, a former Fulton County deputy and current law enforcement trainer. He also sat on use of force boards in Fulton County. The trooper was striking his heel like out of excitement or out of something that he saw suspect. GSP says the trooper did see something suspect, a gun. They say right here is when a gun fell from the man's waistband. But at the time, the trooper didn't see where it went and the man refused to show his hands once he fell. The trooper acted in good faith and was not malicious in what he was doing if he truly legitimately saw a firearm, of which they did say was recovered and there was also potentially stolen. GSP's use of force policy states a trooper can use non-lethal force reasonably to overcome resistance, control a subject, or protect themselves or others from injury. The trooper eventually found the gun on the sidewalk. You see it right there in his hand. GSP says they will review the use of force. Rambo believes the trooper acted with restraint by using his taser and foot strikes to get the man in handcuffs. I would have hate to have seen that officer, that trooper, having to use his service weapon. In my humble estimation, he did act with reasonableness. The Georgia State Patrol says the 27-year-old man is on probation for assault and has an active warrant for simple battery. He was charged with fleeing, obstruction, possession of a firearm with an altered serial number and six other crimes.